What's going on guys? Welcome to another GoCamera Talks Tuesday. In this video, we're gonna go over the Ultra Escalante 2.0. Right, guys so these shoes i did buy with my own money i bought them because they were on sale for 65 bucks ultra anybody else did not pay me to do a review on this shoe this is my own thoughts on these shoes and why did i choose ultra to go into my running shoe rotation well for me i run a lot in vibram five fingers and uh, i love those shoes those are zero drop of course those are going to be very minimalist shoes your toes can display and ultras are known for having some similar qualities like that because these are zero drop from here to here, the toe drop is the same, and then it has a wide toe box so your feet can play for a more natural movement whenever you are running. So that's why I wanted to try these out. I have been running in these shoes for about 28 miles, so I am ready to do a review on them. So let's take a look at the shoe. The look of the shoe, I do like it. It doesn't look as clown looking as the previous ones that I had before. Even though the toe box is wide, it doesn't look too crazy wide it's not too clown looking so these shoes are a good looking shoe i do like the black white and gray colorway uh, the upper is made uh, of a knit type of material a very tight knit material you know uh, nike does have a nike fly knit type of material where it's more like a sock like feeling whenever you put it on these does have a kind of a sock like feeling but this is a very tightly knit upper while it doesn't have a lot of support because it is tightly knit like this it doesn't stretch as much as a nike fly knit it's more of a structured knit if that makes sense because at the heel while there is no knit it does hold up whenever you tie it on everything feels like it's in place and i felt very secure whenever it was on i didn't feel any kind of instability issues with it being too loose or too tight so uh, the upper is just fine with me the heel is not really super structured there's no plastic heel structure in the back it's just all kind of that knit with some maybe some extra foam in the back right there and then when you look at the tongue over here the tongue is a thin tongue i really had no issues with the tongue the inner of it feels good i never felt any hot spots whenever i had these things on and then of course it has that wide toe box which was very comfortable for me although i did have some issues with it which i'll talk about in a bit all right so let's go to the midsole of the shoe the midsole is this sole right here and they call it the ultra ego midsole it's supposed to be cushioned but firm and you know when i first put them on and i ran with them i felt like these shoes were kind of firm you know i was like these shoes are a firm shoe but after wearing them for a little bit more they did loosen up a little bit and now i do feel that cushion although i still feel like it's more on the firm side of a cushion shoe than a super cushion shoe and they say this ultra ego foam is supposed to have some energy return uh for me i felt the cushion more than i felt the energy return i mean i did film the plushness of the foam and for me there's a slight feeling of energy return on the shoe so uh, yeah the foam for me is more firm than it is cushion for sure these shoes are zero drop so these are 24 millimeters at the heel and 24 millimeters at the toe so it is a pretty good stack height but not too crazy compared to some other shoes like i said i felt like the cushioning was okay but it was more firm than it was cushioned and then if we look at the outsole, the outsole is that foot like kind of rubber that it has right here. So you can see the rubber looks almost like a foot with the toes over here. So uh, there's not much tread on these shoes. So definitely these are made for roads more than they are for trails or anything else. Nothing really stood out for me about the outsole. I did run in some wet weather and I didn't slip. So I was happy with that. If you look at the back, it's a little bit of a rolled edge over here. You see a little bit of a rolled edge over here at the front it's not a rolled edge although i do wish that on this lateral side i wish that there was a little bit more of a rolled edge because these shoes are super wide and for me i do like how wide they are but for me i do feel like it is maybe a little bit too wide uh, so i think a rolled edge right here would help out a little bit with that because uh, whenever i was running in them the ride for me 
felt a little clunky because of the width of the shoe. I don't know if it's just this shoe or if it's all ultra shoes, but uh, for sure felt a little bit clunky. And mind you, this is for me who runs a lot of his miles in Vivo Five Fingers. All right, so at a size nine of these shoes weighs about 8.8 .8 ounces, but I do wear a size 12. So these shoes did weigh 10.7 ounces. Supposedly the previous model was one ounce lighter. Uh, for me, I'm a bigger guy, so the weight doesn't really bothering me, I didn't really notice it. So it's kind of a non-factor for me on the way. But I guess if they were lighter, it probably would feel a little bit less clunky. All right, so those are all the fun facts about these shoes. Let's talk about my likes and dislikes of this shoe. What I do like is that zero drop form factor. I like that it's zero drop and I do like that wide toe box that it has. So those are some of the great things I like about it. For me, the ride of these shoes was a little bit clunky. Not so much that I got annoyed by it, but I did notice it on my run and I didn't feel like these were a super fast shoe. Although it does have the Ultra Ego midsole, I did feel like it gave me more of a sunken in feeling than it did a bounce back on these shoes. And then lastly, I feel like that it is a little bit too wide and it could use a little bit of rolled edge right here on the lateral edge of the shoe so that you could feel a little bit less clunky. So who is this shoe for? I think this shoe is for those runners looking for a good road shoe to put a lot of miles in. And if you wanted to do a race in them, you definitely could, you could do that with any shoe, but I don't think it's gonna really be a fast shoe for use. It's gonna be a good trend to put a ton of miles on. And uh, yeah, I don't see a lot of wear and tear on them after 28 miles. So these shoes are definitely gonna be part of my running rotation moving on. So they do get a Goku Runners thumbs up. All right guys, so yeah, those are my thoughts on this shoe. A good shoe, not a fast shoe, good training shoe. If you guys liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.